Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. So guys, the crew is complete. We got sticker, murder marrow, junkyard car, and we got the Cadillac with no name, and we got Theodore. So that's nice, I guess. There are some parts laying around here from this car, um, completely unsorted for the moment, but as you can see in the background, we got some shelves. My plan for today is, let's clean those shelves, and get the stuff that's back there in the corner out, put the shelves back there, and then rearrange a bit, turn this car around, Pull the Mercedes a bit from the wall. I'm pretty excited that this car is finally here now. I have been waiting like, I don't know, about three years to continue to build it. In the meantime, since the last Camaro video, I cleaned and prepared many parts, which I'm gonna show. Washer pump, washer tank, um, master brake cylinder, uh, and stuff like that. First, let's give this shot a little makeover, if you will. Let's do it! Oh hey, you wanna know what the perks are of weighing 80 kilos or, well in America it should be like 3200 chips packages, I don't know, anyway, those are the perks of weighing nothing. Pretty hot. I think I like it. I could have just placed it like it's just in this corner, but I have a plan in mind. So the shelves are supposed to stand like this, so you can go in here. It's a bit tight, but I don't mind. Uh, put stuff in here, get stuff from here, etc. And on the back side, so that stuff doesn't fall out, I will put a wooden board completely over this side. This stops the stuff from falling out and also I can 
put papers on here where I took measurements for, I don't know, the Camaro or the Cadillac and stuff. I like it. I just need to clean it. Uh, and then we can start to put uh, stuff in it. So yeah, let's do just that and then take care of the rest so that it isn't standing all around like unsorted stuff. I mean, we are still in Germany and I like I like it when a workshop is clean. Uh, don't ask me about my apartment. Okay, now that we took care of that, I think they vibrate when I speak. Ah! Ah! I'm not sure if you can hear that, but that's really weird. Anyway, um, let's start sawing stuff in and uh, I'll show you the progress that I have made in half a year uh, when I actually had access to a workshop that I could use. First of all, I have this box. Where did I get it from? I don't know. Anyway, it is full of... Uh, This box is full of old radios and stuff. I'm not even sure what I would need this for, but like we say in Germany, haben ist besser als brauchen und brauchen, ne, statt brauchen und nicht haben. The Star for the Camaro. And this is the memory starter. Excuse me, did you just say starter? I would like to see you starting that engine with that thing. This is obviously a spark plug. God damn. That I borrowed from my dad. Yeah, anyway, I restored it. It freely turns now and it makes nice noises. Yeah, I'm planning on putting that in there. Those here are just the uh, vent outlets for the interior. Uh, I cleaned them up. Took, took them completely apart and welded them back together, cleaned them completely. I haven't cleaned this yet, we'll get to that later. Here we have the new indicator lenses for the new old front. I cleaned them, polished them and they turned out really nice. Ooh, I haven't seen that in a long time. You know when you have a old GM or I'm not sure if this is the case with every old American car that has been a project car for a long time in the hands of many, many persons. The AC or heater control unit in the interior always looks really fucking bad. So, I did something and I think it turned out really, oh fuck, it's freeze. And I think it turned out really nice. I mean, I have to say, I like this very much. The holder for the brake safety valve uh, right under the master cylinder. I'm not too sure if I'm going to use this, but I saw it laying in the garage of a friend and I asked, Hey, do you need this? So, anyway, there's a complete set in here 
for the guys who know what this is, please leave a comment and please leave a comment in the comments. For the guys who know what this is, please leave a comment down below if you have any experience with this. The oldest for the headlights. Yeah, turned out really nice. I'm not cleaning or restoring the headlamps itself on this car. I clean them out here on the glass, but I'm not cleaning them on the back. You may be able to see that they are a bit rusty, but I want the car to look through its old eyes, you know. I cannot just take it from him, you know. Sometimes I'm stupid, but I like being stupid. The master brake cylinder. Rebuild it. I mean, when I say I rebuild it, I took it apart, cleaned everything, took a look at the gaskets and stuff, and uh, yeah, it works. The problem with having so many crates of processed wood is that you ah don't really know what is in them, but I do know what is in them when I open them. Polish those new headlights, new old headlights, if you will, turned out really fucking nice. I mean, look at the shine on them. They look like candy. It's nice. Battery tray, the old one. If you look closely, it's still a bit mangled. Partly from the accident and uh, partly because it was like this. And also you can see all the rust pits it has. This is almost the same as with the headlights. I like to have old stuff in this car. So I got a new expansion tank and I cleaned it very well. It took me like, I don't know, fucking six hours. I put nuts in there and then shook it around. It has been repaired before but not by me. Uh, but I really don't mind, and also it has a nice cap. It still isn't from this, but it's clean, it looks nice, I like it. You know, this is almost like Christmas because after a certain amount of time, I don't know what is in those. And I haven't written anything on them, so... This is the license plate holder from the new old bumper. We stored it completely, looks nice. I like it. This is the loudest fucking fuel pump I have ever heard. I restored it to the best of my abilities and I put a fuel filter on here. The only thing that is missing is a small spring that presses the filter upwards. So yeah, essential because otherwise the car wouldn't fucking run. The wiper motor. So, turned out really nice. I think I leave it clean uh, because I really like this look. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that has to be replaced is the cap on here because there's one washer plug that is broken off. Here we have the washer fluid tank and the back plate. I had to repair this because I wanted to use the old one. I think I know what is in here. Uh, yes, those are the... Uh... Anyway, this ties into the craze that I wasn't going to talk about. Nice. So, uh, this fell off. Again, I took this completely apart because I wanted to get all the dust and stuff out. This is the inner air duct that goes on the firewall. Also in here is the inner... Anyway, I repaired my heater core, so I got fucking heater now. I also completely disassembled this. Yeah, took me a while. Nice. Still got a few 
minor crates, the unsorted stuff. Nothing to really talk about for now. I robbed a friend off of some center bolt parts, and when I say I robbed them, I mean I legally got them. Uh, some engine parts for the center bolt, like oil pump. But uh, those are some parts that I could use. So, besser haben als nicht haben. I will get a complete center bolt engine at some point. A second one, so that I can do some stuff to it. You'll know when you see it. What I also have is either a trumpet or a weapon, depending on how you look at it. A crate that is falling apart also with unsorted stuff. And I got a bag with unsorted stuff. But cut off brake line. The most interesting the most interesting part is this. I'm not sure if it fits a Camaro because I got it from a guy that mostly has Mustangs. So I'm not sure if this is from a Camaro or a Chevy. But we'll make it fit. Lefty clutchy, righty brakey. I have more unsorted stuff that I bought. What I did sort were those to some degree. Shut up. I put some screws in them and nuts, different sizes and some unique Things. I get asked very often, Luca, why do you keep them? They are trash. I mean, yeah, they're fucking broken, right? But I like to be reminded of my failures, you know? Yeah, anyway. Not sure if this fits up there. Uh, no, fuck. If you ever encounter the problem, hey, I want to put my fender vertically on the top shelf, but the ceiling is in the way. I got a solution for you. Just crash your fucking car. It's right. Let's put the new fenders up there. What I also do have are some shorties. I was gonna say nice shorties, but they're a bit rusty. What I also do have is a clutch. We have a manual transmission. Manual. Manual. We have a manual transmission. Nice. And also, an automatic transmission. This is the original transmission that I drove the car with and I'm going to swap it so that the car is going to be a manual. Manuel. Emanuel. We are done with camera parts for now. At least with those that I can put in here. Let's clean up a bit more. Yeah.
so yeah this is trash that uh, still has to be thrown away there is my sandblasting cabinet but there is the blown up engine from the uh, w123 mercedes that's the camaro engine and yeah now we have some nice space to put our stuff in most of it is still empty so yeah i have my boxes here i might expand it a little bit further uh, all the camaro stuff down there are the transmissions i'm most certainly sure that i won't leave the fenders up there i might hang them on the wall somewhere this is the stuff that has to go if anyone is interested in a pool table just hit me up but i don't ship to america there's the camaro and uh, there's stuff that still has to go a little bit not really clean in here still have to do a lot of stuff i will leave this car here for now because i have to work on it i also have to pull the engine out of my mercedes because it has a bad head gasket and uh, it leaks oil and doesn't start very much as you might have heard uh, it runs a bit rough right there where the cadillac is sitting i will install a lift where this is going to go but i might turn it around not sure the old new front for the camaro it will also get the new old rear optic with the bumper and stuff and yeah there is my hood that has exploded into four different pieces looks really nice i also have back here an original camaro hood this is just there to rebuild the glass fiber hood to the original dimensions you know so yeah there you go i hope this video was a bit entertaining i'm not sure uh see you next time when i take apart my mercedes i guess